Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's video, I'm going to do a drawing that a lot of people have been requesting, and that is the 1995 version of the Burning Godzilla. So I hope you guys enjoy this drawing and have some fun with it. Now to start off with this, we're gonna start up here with the top of the head, so we have plenty of room to try to fit in the tail and everything. So I'm gonna start right up here and I'm going to begin by just making a little line that just kind of goes down and then it's going to curve back like this for the eyebrow. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes around and it's going to curl up for the eye. And then I'm gonna leave some space and I'm gonna draw a little line that's just going to curve up and then come back down for the other eyebrow. Then I'm going to make a little line that goes up and that's going to kind of curve back right here. Next, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve up. And then I'm going to make a little line that comes in and then a little line that goes out for the nose. We'll add a little curved line for the other eye. Now, starting here, we're gonna draw a line that goes out like this. I'm gonna kinda of go up and I'm going to go down. I'm gonna curl this up and then I'm going to bring it down like this for the mouth. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that just curls up and that's going to come back like this. Then starting here, I'm just going to curl down. And I'm going to go over. Then starting up here, I wanna add some of the teeth real quick. So right in here, he's gonna have two big fangs. So we're gonna put two fangs right here. And then I'm going to add a few smaller teeth in here. And then same thing back here, some smaller teeth. Then right in here, he's gonna have a couple little larger fangs at the bottom, and then I'm just going to put some smaller teeth in here. I'm gonna start right back here, and I'm gonna draw a line that goes down and comes back for the tongue. Draw a little line that goes up here, another little line down. Little line right here, and then we'll add some little small teeth. Right here, I'm gonna add a little line that curls around. And then another little line that just goes down. And then I'm going to bring this up and just around here. I'm gonna curl this line around here a little more for the nose. Then I'm gonna add another little line that's gonna curl right by the eye. And I'll add one more, it's gonna just kind of curl up here. I'm gonna bring this line up to here. And there's gonna be a little tiny ear, so I'll add a little line that goes out and back, a little line inside of here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just goes down and it's gonna kind of curl over. I'm gonna bring this line out a little bit more. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that goes out and that's going to curl in for the chest. Right here, we're gonna make a little line that goes out and that's just going to kind of curl down here. And then I wanna start kind of back here for the rest of the body. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna make this line just a little longer out here. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes down and that's going to go over for the arm. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down. I'm gonna make another line that just kind of curls down here for the arm. 
We're going to draw a line that goes up, and it's going to come to a point and come back down. Make one that goes down and back here. One more here, and then one more right there. Right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes out. I'm going to draw a line that goes up, and it's going to curl back for the thumb. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes out and comes back for a finger. One more here, and then one right here that's going to curl back. And then one that goes right to here. Um, these are kind of bothering me, so I'm going to make these a little longer here. That's better. Next, for the leg, I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and that's going to curl around. I'm going to add a couple more little curl lines right there. And this Godzilla's got some really big feet, so I'm going to draw a line that goes out. It's going to curve down and come back. I'm going to draw another one here. And then a smaller one right here. Then I'm going to draw a little one line here that goes up. And then I'm just going to bring it right up to here. Now there's going to be another leg right here, so I'm going to draw another line that's going to kind of curl around here, and then one over here. Kind of looks like a pair of parentheses. He's got these really big legs. Almost looks like he's got like big fat rolls on his legs. And we're going to add the big feet. So I'm going to draw a line that goes down and up. Another one here that goes down and up. One here. And then one more here. Then start here, I'm just going to draw another little line right here. We'll just connect it. Now starting here by the arm, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down. And then I'm going to add another one here little line and then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up and it's going to curl around here then I'm just going to bring it right back along here it's going to get wider and wider and then come right to there so we got our basic shape of our Godzilla in here now we just want to come in here and add some of the details now, one of the first things I want to start with are the spikes back here. So we're going to start with one up here. I'm going to go with a line that goes up and down. Another one that goes up and down. Then one that goes out and down. And another one that goes out and down. We'll do the same thing right here. Make this one a little bigger. We'll go up and down. You'll notice I'm going to start up here, not down here. So I'm going to go up and then down here. Do it again. Now I'm going to go and do the exact same thing on this side. Just kind of make them kind of spiky looking. So we're going to kind of continue this all the way along the back, adding all of the spikes. I like to get them a little bit taller and bigger as I get towards the middle of the back. And then you can always kind of start to make them smaller as you are coming back down. So I'm just going to kind of fill these up here all along the back. You see they're getting smaller. And then they're going to start to get a lot smaller on the tail. They're going to be a lot on the tail, but we're not going to sit here and try to draw all of them because they'll take forever. So I'm just going to make these small little bumps all along the tail here. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add some little broken lines right around the neck here for some details. Gonna add some little curved lines right around here. I'm gonna add some little spikes going right down the top of his head. And there's gonna be some on this side and then some on this side as well. I'm gonna add some kind of long broken lines kind of going down his body and his neck. I'm gonna add a long line that kind of curls in here. Add some broken lines on the chest. Add a 
add a low line here. We'll add some curls for the claws. And then we're going to add some big curved lines for the claws on the toes. Then we're going to add some curl lines right around here. And I'm just going to add some long broken lines going right down the tail. We're going to add some going down here too. Then I'm going to add some more of these kind of long broken lines kind of going right down the body. I'm just kind of following the curve of everything right now. There's going to be a couple more little broken lines going down the neck. Some more broken lines down the arms here. I'm going to put some just going right down the body here too. Just for lots of little texture, just doing these quick little broken lines. I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to put some on the face too. Some little curl lines right around here. There's a lot of detail on this guy, but we're just going to kind of put them in just different spots. So I'm going to do some more little broken lines all around here. I'm going to do the same thing going down here too. I might have some going the opposite way as well, just for some detail. And then I'm just going to put these going all along the tail here. I'm going to put some quick little lines on some of the spikes as well. And then I might even throw a few more spikes back here too for some details. I'm going to add a few small spikes going down the back of Godzilla as well. Add some little lines onto the toes. And maybe a couple little lines on the mouth as well. And there you go. Here is your drawing of our burning Godzilla from 1995. Now there are going to be some extra little like, you know, details in here when I color where I'm going to add all the burning parts of him. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.